Hello everyone, my name is Vani and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the 5 beautiful parks in Rome that you must visit. If you're a traveler who loves to escape the hustle and bustle of the city, then this video is for you. First on our list is the Villa Borghese. It is a landscape garden containing number of buildings, museums, and attractions. It is one of the largest public parks in Rome. Villas is scattered through the gardens or remains of the World Exposition in Rome in 1911. Besides these villas, there is the Exposition Zoo, recently redesigned as the Bayo Parco and Zoological Museum. Today, the Villa Borghese Gardens are a vast recreational space and known to have 90 attractions listed on its map. You can rent a bicycle or electric quad bike and even hire a boat on the lake. Everybody loves the picturesque gardens and views of the Villa Borghese at the Pinchon Hill. Next is the Parco Lago delle Ur or the Central Park of Avu. It is designed and built in the 1960s, which houses a very rich quantity and variety of trees and flowers, including the magnificent Japanese cherry blossoms. You can rent a pedal boat or take a boat ride in the artificial lake. Visit the new aquarium, admire the garden, the fountain, and the waterfalls, or maybe just have a picnic. Many times of the year, it is also a location for fun events. So, what are you waiting for? Visit the Parco Lago de la Ur. The third on our list is Villa Torlonia. It is a real jewel in the middle of the park on Via Nomentana. Its charming garden and elegant princely residence is an oasis in the midst of the chaos of Rome. And it is a place rich in history, art, architecture, and anecdotes. Villa Torlonia is even equipped with a playground, artificial caves, the Swiss hut, which later became the famous Casina delle Civette. Next is Villa Doria Pampini. It is the largest park in Rome and it is where to head if you need some peace and relaxation. It is open to the public from 7 o'clock a.m. until dusk. You can walk or jog through the park or just have a picnic with a barbecue or get something at the bar. Things to see are the secret garden, the pond, the stream, and the fountain of Cupid. Last but not the least is the Villa Ada. It is the second largest park in Rome. It is the perfect place to walk, run, take a picnic, or have some fresh air away from the tourist crowd. Villa Ada is popular with locals, including families with children, because of its playground. Nature makes the sun brighter. It makes the air smell sweeter. The colors seem more vivid, and the time almost stands still. There is something about unspoiled nature that simply makes me happy. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more quick tips. See you again next time. Have a good day.